Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to go through and show you how um, to put the camera back into Fluid for the K2. I uh, did a bit of a playing around with the code and whatnot and um, basically just come up with a way to put the camera, make it work again. So this should be fairly quick. Um, this does require root access to install this, so um, if you don't need the camera in Fluid, uh, don't bother with this. This is just for people that want to mess around with fluid and put the camera back, make it work again. So of course um, you're obviously going to enable root access on the touch screen of your printer and then um, you're going to need a, a SSH client. So I'll be using PuTTY here. So in PuTTY you just want to set up your printer's IP address and set up um, SSH so you can log into it. And then you'll get the login box, which will be root. And then the password will be creality underscore 2024. It'll tell you the password on the um, printed touch screen when you enable root. So from this point, I've tried to make it as simple as can possibly be. So all you're going to do is come to my GitHub page and you've got install commands and restore commands. So I've made it um, copy the files to a backup folder and then it'll install the new files and then if you want to restore it back to how it was before you touched it uh, you can throw the restore commands at it and it'll copy the restore files back so it's fairly simple so really all you do is just come here and then click the little pip here and then copy and then just paste and then um, it'll do its thing That'll tell you complete, and then Moonraker's restarting. So you give Moonraker a little bit of time to reboot, and then just click reconnect. And there you go, the camera will appear. So I've set up all of the variables that are needed to have the camera connect and show. So it should just work straight out of the box like this for you. And then if you want to remove it, like I said, um, you can just go back to my GitHub take the restore commands and then um, go back to that and then just paste the restore commands in and the same thing complete just give it a couple of seconds for Moonraker to reboot click reconnect and it'll be back to how it was so that's pretty much as simple as I could possibly make it for you and the other thing I made it do was put, I put a redirect on the um, just the normal IP address of the printer. So like when you go to the address without the port, before it would show um, nothing because there was no page. Well now you can go there and it'll bounce you to the um, correct port. So it'll keep bouncing you to there. And if for any reason you want a direct camera feed um, without fluid or whatnot, you might want to put it on the screen, whatever. Um, you can just go to the uh, printer's IP address and then just go forward slash camera HTML and then you'll get a full screen feed of the camera. So that'll work as well if you wanted to put it into a mobile app or something like that. So anyway, I hope that helps. I'll install it again because I actually want it. So you can run the commands over on top of each other. It won't matter. And there we go, it's back to how I like it. So yeah, I hope that helps um, you get the camera working on your um, fluid.